Sal, there goes Airsoft. Godfather. Crowd. Hey, uh, today we're talking about the uh, DMR class, what it is and what it isn't. So starting off on that side, g and 308, g and GR25. Okay, we'll talk about the M27 here in a minute. Uh, we've got the SR25 here, and then we've got a DITAC uh, tactical SPR, uh, which we'll talk about here shortly. So, designated marksman rifle provides uh, accurate fires for the squad level. Uh, we like, we prefer 308 builds, 762 uh, builds, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, in this case, what we have here is, uh, if it's a 308 platform, it doesn't require a bipod, but it does require scope, obviously, uh, because that means we can identify it, you've got the right wristband, uh, you've got the right chrono tag on the weapon, so we visually can verify what, we, what we're uh, seeing the player use. Uh, now, where it gets dicey, okay, M27, game, take away. So for the M27, you may have seen in an early video how you can run it as an LMG, but it has to be outfitted correctly, right? If you're going to run it as a DMR rifle, you do need a couple things. One, you need a scope that spots a distance, right? And a bipod as well. Is a bipod a hard and fast rule? You just said yes. For a, for a 5.56, five, 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 DMR, you have to have, have a bipod, bipod. right? So we, we know it's a little bit of a, a curveball, but just because of the nature of the M27 and how it's used in the real world, um, we we can you can have it under both classes. Okay, but doesn't mean you can switch. So if you're buying a DMR class, you're running your M27 as DMR. Right, that's it. You're a DMR. Uh, now, we always talk. We always hear on the player forums, the Coast Airsoft community, that a DMR has got to be a 7.62 replica. Not the case. Uh, guys, I worked with overseas had the Mark 12 SPR. It's a 5.56 platform. M16A4, 5.56 mm -hmm. platform. Uh, so. Back here, uh, I think we have the Crytek SPR uh, by, uh, by Airsoft Junkies. Now, guys are like, well, it's, it says SPR. Yes, it still requires a bipod and a scope. So, right here, Dynamic Tactical, Dynamic, you know, we've got the Warlord Edition SPR. Now, what does it require? It requires bipod and a scope. Um, so, again, uh, you know, you can run a 5.56 replica, but it has to have those things. One, Players can visually tell what they're being shot at, and the staff can visually uh, verify what the player's been tagged with. So, chrono distances, you can look that up at thirdcoastairsoft.com, uh, MEDs. Um, now, does it require a full auto lockout? No, because you're going to need to be able to go back and change your settings and whatnot, but you are limited to semi-auto only. So, we, it helps to have a semi-auto lockout, but it's not mandated. For those of you that play games online, think about the weapon classes that you build online and how they're designated. That's that's another reason we do this, right? To different, differentiate, differentiate, excuse me. We have several different classes of weapons, and you know that's part of Milton. We want to keep it as real as possible. Yep. So again, thanks.